Hello fellow eToro traders and investors, Dan from Trading with Dan here, um, coming to you on this December the 12th, 2019. So yeah, we get, we're definitely getting a bit of action in the in the markets today. I mean, yesterday um, I was um, a bit apprehensive taking trades on based on the based on the um, the the interest rate decision and what Jerome, Jerome Powell would have said. But it looks like we've got the volatility volatility today based on what Trump is what Trump is doing. So in case in case you didn't know, we're obviously rallying um, because we're rallying. On Trump is folding apparently, well allegedly folding on the on the new China tariffs that weren't meant to come into force on the fifteenth, um, and then he's offering to cut the current tariffs by fifty percent in exchange for pledges. So so yeah, that's um that's what's sparking this rally here. Um, I mean, a lot of the a lot of these um. A lot of these um, Trump tweets um, that are sent as rallying on on um, on trade on the trade talks have um, then retraced a lot of them. So we'll have to see what happens there. Um, but because obviously we do know the main driver for the markets is the Fed, and I mean if stocks do keep going up, um, that's maybe one of the one of the factors that may stop them intervening so much um, in the markets. But yeah, so that's why we're having this rally here, um, and I'm sure it's got nothing to do with the fact the other day um, Trump was asking the army army to to try and um, find rare earths because um, they need them for their weapon development. Um, China been um, con basically been 90% of the world's rare earth um, market, uh, which they have acquired by um, just undercutting und by well a government government um, sponsorship which has allowed them to undercut all the other miners around the world and force them out of business so now they and obviously and rare earths are, are very um, important for all sorts of tech weapons um, magnets magnet technology and things like that so yeah so that's what's driving that um, also today we had the Saudi Aramco IPO um, a ten percent surge as trading begins. Um, I have, I have put a comment on my um on my feed on on eToro on here, um, saying that why would you want to buy it if they want to sell it? I mean, why why are they why are they looking to get out now of their um obviously their biggest asset? Um, what do they know? Why do they want to get out? I mean, I mean, it literally could just be because of they're looking at a shift away from away from oil. Um away from car, um, hydrocarbons but um but yeah i mean that could be why so again that would be why would you want to buy it if that's if they're thinking it's just not i mean if someone's selling something the you're assuming they're not selling it because i think it's going to be worth more in the future you have to assume they're selling it because it'd be worth less and they don't necessarily need the money so yeah so that's that so yeah over to my toro we have had uh yesterday we were up a little bit yesterday um i took a scalp this morning um i took a scalp i'll show you where i took a scalp on the s p um on the s p i took a scalp trade at um sorry it's going to the 15 minute chart sort this out i took a scalp trade here on this um what was a what was a nine candle that turned into a one um i didn't i didn't run my trade as long as i wanted to because obviously we are in a strong market as has just been proven here but i could have could have held the position for longer but like i said i'm only really trying to scalp the s p because this is always the risk and there it is there is the risk so yeah um but yeah like i was saying stocks are probably going up buy on dips so i will be, i will be looking to fade this at some point um potentially when we get a nine candle in half an hour hour or so um but yeah see how it plays out wait for this um oscillator to show me some red bars or at least a a, a peaking of the green bars but yeah so that stocks i mean as usual gold is tracing is trading um uh, inversely to stocks so um we had initially had a big quite a big rally this morning and it wasn't based on as bigger 
as big a drop in stocks as you might have thought but I mean you see that as being fully retraced and some but I do think um, I will be looking for another entry into long gold because like I said I think these will revert back at least to the norm if not carrying on with their trend so that's gold and then oil oil again I mean if things are looking better uh, economy wise then oil will um, will rally because um, it is, is is closely linked to well the dem demand for oil is closely linked to uh, the global economy so if things are looking better then yeah then that is um, a potential that is obviously a buy um, so yeah so oil rallied on that news but again we are we are bumping up, up the top of a trend line here um, seasonally um, crude is weak going into this time of the year and we're at the top of the trend line um, but yeah but we'll see we'll see what happens with oil so so yeah that that's what I've got for you guys today um, I'm not sure I will be able to do another video later on but there are a few few things that I did um, want to have a chat about um, but yeah thank you for listening and I will be um, I will be doing a video, a video soon for you guys thanks goodbye